Hey everybody, it is Jessica with Planet Southern, and in today's video, I am catching you guys up on what's going on in my planner. So if you guys want to know what's going on, then keep on watching. So, I bet you guys have noticed that I haven't put up, well for starters, I haven't put up my April flip through yet. And I haven't put up my May setup video. Well, there's a kind of a good reason for that. So I have feeling, been feeling lately kind of like a, I don't know, just something has been off. And I haven't actually opened my physical planner since the last day of April, uh, that last Sunday of April. And I've been meaning to do a flip through and I just haven't sat down to do it yet. And I haven't moved into my May planner either. And I had huge plans. I was going to use my new inserts with my new TPS kit or the Planner Society kit. And um, I was going to use my Kodiak and I was going to do this and use this pen and that pen. And I never really got to it. And I had a realization, and I think that I've just found a rabbit hole. And I fell deep into this rabbit hole. And it is digital planning. Now, I know some people say digital planning isn't planning. Um, paper planning is the only way to go. And I've been paper planning for a couple of years, actually well beyond um, my YouTube career but uh or youtube and it isn't really a career right at this point it's just me talking to a camera but um i have always used my cell phone and my computer to plan if i'm you know planning that's what i'm using to plan and then i'm doing like a to-do list um, on a piece of paper. That's how I always plan until I found Erin Condren Life Planner and started planning that way with like stickers and stuff, right? So, um, I fell deep, deep, deep down a rabbit hole. So deep that I've created my own planners. I am finding free printables online. I'm using my own printables that I have or, you know, stickers from my shop that I have. And that's what I've been doing for the month of May. So, I'm just rolling with it. At this point, it is May 17th, and there's no sense in putting anything on paper now because I'm not gonna back plan, and it's a waste of stickers. So, I thought I would get on here and talk to you guys, kinda show you what my setup is, um, or has been, for the month of May and uh, then at the end of May I will do a total flip through of my digital planner and um, I'm also putting in a digital plan with me in week 20 vlog. That's what week 20's uh, plan with me is going to be and that will be up soon. Um, but I wanted to kind of update you guys on what has been going on in my planner, what I'm using for the month of May, and kind of give you guys that little tidbit of information. So um, if you guys want to see what's up, I'm going to flip the camera around, so keep watching. Okay, so first things first, let me show you guys what I'm using. This is my iPad Pro. It is the 12.9 inch and this is the case that I have on it. I actually just got this case. Before I was using the um, Apple black silicone case with the um, Apple keyboard. I still have it and I still use it but I'm uh, liking this little pop of color. I've had this since they first came out. My husband got it for me for Christmas the Christmas that they came out and I think it was in 2015 so I've had it for about two or three years now um so I just wanted to tell you guys like kind of what iPad I'm using um this is the Apple Pencil and I just have a little rubber 
stylist on it. Um, actually, let me move this out of the way so it will focus. Um, so this is the Apple Pencil. This is just a rubber case that is on the Apple Pencil. It's a little silicone case. And pretty much this just keeps my pencil from getting dinged up, rolling away easily because it stops because of these little notches that are right here. I can also put some sort of yarn or something through here and tie it onto something, but I haven't. It also comes in handy when I want to charge my iPad. It keeps my little thing in here, my little cap from rolling away. I have a new one of these coming. I also have a screen protector coming um, for my iPad. And the new case that's coming is a clear one for my um, Apple Pencil. Same exact thing. It's just clear. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're not very expensive. They're only like $10, these little silicone cases. And just like purses and planners, I like switching stuff out. So that is that. And I am going to unlock my iPad here and turn my cell phone off because I will be getting emails if I don't the entire time this video is going on. So, um, this is how I have my iPad set up. I have a ton of stuff. I use my iPad all the time. If you guys want a kind of like my favorite apps thing, I would totally do that. Um, just put down in the comments if you want to know what I'm using. But, I actually have a, this is my Good Notes app right here. This is the app that I use for my planner. And then I have a folder right here that shows you the apps that I use specifically for my artsy stuff and my digital planners. Now, I fell down deep into this rabbit hole because of Carabins from Boho Berry. I didn't even know digital physical planner thing was a thing. When I digital plan, I use the Reminders app and the Calendar app. If you look in here in the calendar app, you will see that I use this thing to keep track of all of my events. This is how I plan. This is how I future plan. Uh, this is how my life goes. Um, up until I found the Fly Lady, I even had my daily routine down. So... Uh, on my planner. So this is how I digital plan. I will go in depth. I also have a planner uh, on the background of my computer with sticky notes. That's how I plan out my menu and other things like that. But digital planning has kind of always been at the core of my planning routine and everything else has just kind of been secondary. Uh, so my I call it my master planner is my iPad. So, I would also use the Reminders app to do, um, this is where I do my grocery, my shopping list, I do my to-do list here. A lot of times I will be upstairs and uh, the Reminders app syncs to my phone. Uh, so I will quickly, I'll be laying in the bed and I will do a to-do list for the next day. Um, I also have a list that I share with my family, but no one else uses it but me, so there we go. Alright, so, digital planners. Just in case you guys want to know some really good apps to use, um, I did learn about these through Boho Berry, except for Procreate. Procreate I have had since day one. Um, I really love this app. It allows you to... Um, draw and uh, these are actually some drawings that a friend of mine did on my iPad. Don't even think that I can draw this good. This was not me. Um, I did a doodle challenge though and um, I did see if I can find we had a doodle challenge in the uh, group that I'm in on Facebook. 
uh, the Charleston Planner Addicts, and we had a pretty cool uh, challenge where we were doing like doodles and stuff. So I drew my doodles on my iPad, which came in really handy because I was on vacation. I'm not very good at it, but I really do like doing these doodle challenges. Let's see, go back to my gallery. Um, I like to practice my brush lettering in here too. Uh, not that I'm any good at it, but I like to practice. That is Procreate, and I love Procreate. And it actually, if you want to learn more about how to use Procreate for planners, go watch um, Boho Berry. She has a ton of videos on uh, digital planning on her channel. I'm trying to get this lighting right, guys, but it is not working well. Hold on just one second. Alright, I don't know if this is any better, but we're going to have to roll with it for today. Uh, it's really dark and gloomy and rainy outside, so that's why. Um, so, I found these other apps through her as well. Magic Eraser is great for removing backgrounds if you, uh, if you download like a sticker off of Pinterest or something. You can remove the background with Magic Eraser. Unzip is amazing. Um, lets you unzip files on your iPad. Graphic is kind of like, um, it's kind of like Photoshop, sort of, kind of. Um, so, I like that. Oh, let's go back. And then any font. Any font has to be next to Procreate, one of my favorite apps for an iPad. You can download fonts and then use graphic to uh, type out your headers or boxers or whatever. Boxers. Boxes. Or whatever. So let's get into my planners. So I have everything categorized. I have sticker books in here. Um, this one is one that I created. I create everything in Keynote. And um, this one is my favorite book. I found this website called Pink Pixel Graphics. You guys should check them out. She has great free printables. And they're not just for digital. These are actually meant to be printed out. I just happen to save the PNGs and use them. But she has really cute um, sticker kits. They are very, very cute. And you can use them um, or download them in literally any size. She has them for any size planner. So this is the one, if you follow me on um, Instagram, this is the one that you've seen me use there. The marble with the gold. That's the one that I use, have been using on Instagram. It was my favorite. But she just has a very, a lot of very, very cute, um, cute ones. So I'm actually going to leave it on this page because this is the one that I'm going to use for this week. So I'm going to leave it here. And... I also in here have other weekly kits, ones that I've either bought on Etsy like this one for April or ones that I found on Pinterest way back when I started planning. Um, I found some of these on Pinterest. I have sticker kits which are just extra stickers, deco stickers. A lot of these I also got from Pink Pixel Graphics. These are planners for um, breakfast, Monday through Sunday, lunch, Monday through Sunday, dinner, Monday through Sunday, and a, Sunday and a meal plan. And they're just in all different colors. These are just get it done headers. So these are quotes I got from another website called Love SVG. And they are just super cute little SVG clip arts. And these are all free to use as quotes in my planner. So 
I'm going to go back to this pink pixel graphics and find the one that I'm wanting to use for this week. What is this one? Hello Spring. No. I want the one about the rain. There we go. So I'm going to use this back button over here. Um, this is another one of my sticker books that I like to use for my digital planning. And um, it's really, really cute. So let's get back to the home. When I purchased this actual sticker book, um, these are the stickers that came with it. And then I used my weekly layout icons. These are all icons that I sell in my shop. And um, if I don't actually sell them, it's ones that I've purchased to sell in my shop. I created these little um, calendars, mini calendars. These are all icons that I've purchased from the Planner Society. These are sticker sheets that I've made myself for the Planner Society. These sticker sheets, I believe, are from Kaylee and Chaos. I believe they're digital sticker sets. And then this is clip art that I purchased from Spirit Bin. So, these are kind of like my main stickers that I use. Those are the stickers that I use. Weekly kits, stickers. And now, let's move to planners. Now... I purchased originally this purple planner here and I purchased it I can't remember the shop um, I will have to pull it up and show you um, but this is a horizontal layout pretty much just like Erin Condren um, it has the horizontal boxes each of these tabs is a link I can quickly go to September, go back to January. These purple boxes over here on the side, I can click and it takes me exactly to that week in my planner. Um, and then over here on the side, you can just tap and it'll go to the next page. And they have a graph paper, dot graph, then graph, lined. So... Up here you have different um, tabs each tab has uh, paper but you can use it for notes and stickers or really whatever you want to put in this you can so I actually use this for my YouTube channel I try oop, I try and um, plan out my videos you guys know that it hasn't gone this way but I try and plan out my videos so I also let me flip back to April I also use a lot of stickers in my planners and I love it because if I don't like how something turned out I can move it um I just really like using this type of planner. So, let us go back. So, this is the one that I bought. I didn't really like horizontal. Ended up using it for my YouTube channel and it's working out great. Um, but I also made a curriculum planner. I made it myself through Keynote and um, use stuff that I already had or just stuff that I found off of Google. Since I'm not selling these and I'm using them for myself, it's a little easier to just copy and paste stuff off of Google. Um, but I used um, stuff to make a curriculum planner for my church and um, a budget planner for myself. And then this is the Boho Berry digital planner. I absolutely love this one. And um, this is my, I call it my master planner. Let me close out some of these tabs up here. So, this is the spread you guys have probably seen on my Instagram. If you follow my Instagram, um, this is how I've been planning. Um, 
This is May. I just used some stickers over here, some washi strips. Um, I just got some Google Images, my stickers. Um, this is kind of what I've been using. Um, this was April. I just kind of put some stuff in here, um, kind of getting used to it. We had a mall meetup. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see. And I put in a, uh, they call me Planner Babe. Uh, that is a sticker from, or clip art from Spirit Ben Co. I think it's Spirit Ben Co. Might just be Spirit Ben. Um, hip Hop, because it was Easter Sunday. Um, just putting in, you know, little coffee mugs, st coffee stickers over here for a Starbucks meetup cleaning that day so I was just kind of getting in the groove of digital planning I don't think I actually planned in April oh I did so I just did some headers and then down here at the bottom I just kind of did home life and typed in some stuff there um just kind of getting in the groove, kind of getting used to doing some digital planning. This week I used um, different stickers. I had one here. I put in a hydrate sticker. Um, if it was somebody's birthday, I put that in. Put in, you know, it was a rainy day. Spent the day with, day with Joey. Um, that is kind of what I did. And then moving on to May, I just used these cute um, kind of flower banners. I found all of this on Google. And they're PNGs. So that is what I did there. Just used some washi strips that I made here. And um, just kind of used washi and stuff that I already had. This is also a PNG that I got off of Google Memorial Day. So that is that. That's my monthly. And then for my weekly, I use the weekly kits. Um, these all came from Pixel Pink Graphics, this image here. All of these images except for like the computers, those come from clip art that I had for my shop. Uh, but the washi strips, uh, the Bible and the cross come from my shop. So did this here. It's all clip art that I use for my shop. The Hello Weekend banner. This is all stickers and then I wrote on it. So, that is kind of, and then down here at the bottom, I kind of just made like a, a list of what I did that day. I went to the chiropractor, I dropped off my car at Hoover, went to brunch, walked to Publix, went by the produce stand and got some amazing strawberries and a spaghetti squash to try. Then I picked up my car, hung out with Brittany and John, worked on new releases when they left, then I did dishes, kitchen, and I posted a video. Um, so just stuff like that so you for you to get an idea. And then I loved that kit so much that I uh, pretty much copy and pasted everything, erased my handwriting, and then started over. Um, so this is this week. This is the week that I'm going to plan. And um, I thought it would be fun to kind of bring you guys along with me and kind of show you how I plan. Um, there's a lot of tools here in GoodNotes. I'm not really going to explain them all, but you have your pen here. You have your highlighter and eraser, a lasso tool. You have the um, pen flip page, and then you have... Um, your this button here shows you all of your pages this is how you add images or text box or whatever this lets you draw shapes and this lets you zoom in so what I'm gonna do 
is um, I'm going to actually, because it would be so much easier for you guys to see, I'm going to do screen capture and record everything that's on my iPad and um, see if I can figure out how to do voiceover with that. So give me just a second. I'm going to switch to the actual screen of my iPad. Okay guys, so I wanted to uh, plug into my iPad just so that it is more zoomed in and you guys can see it much better. So hopefully this works out great. Um, so if you hear squeaking, it's my chair. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is open this app here. It's my Good Notes app. That is the app that I use to plan. And um, up here in the top left corner, you'll see this arrow button right here. I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to go to Categories, Stickers, and Weekly Kits just to get my tab open with, I have a main master planner. This is my actual planner that I'm using, and then this is my Weekly Kits that I'm using. That's one thing I love about GoodNotes is that I can have multiple tabs open. So I'm going to start by hitting the lasso tool, which is the one that just lit up. It's this one right here. I'm going to make sure that images is, you know, all three of these are fine. Um, to do, but I want to make sure that at least images is there. And I'm going to lasso. We're going to start with, um, let's start with this one here because it has a few things. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to copy both of them. So I lassoed both images. I tapped on it. I'm going to hit copy come over here to my master planner and I'm going to do, oh, I have my pen selected, not lasso, make sure lasso is selected. And I am going to draw a tiny little lasso down here. And I'm not gonna hit take screenshot, I'm just gonna tap somewhere else and hit paste. What did you do? All right, well, apparently it did not pick up my copy from over here. So I'm going to paste and here we go. So here's the two images. They're relatively small, but that is completely fine. I'm gonna make them um, a little bit smaller just so I can move them. I'm just lassoing and kind of moving them over here, kind of out of the way, but so that I still have them and can still access them relatively easy. Now, the easiest thing that I have found to do is to just copy and paste these two images and then crop them. It's just easier for me so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this top box right here. I'm going to lasso and click copy. And then over here, I'm going to hit paste and resize, make it a little bigger. I'm going to click off and then hold my Apple Pencil down. Click edit so that I can rotate it. And really, I just want these Monday through Sunday headers for right now. So I'm going to click crop. And I'm just going to kind of do a rough crop just to get it. And then go back in. I'm going to move things. The little box, I'm going to move it closer. And then I'm going to click off and I'm going to click copy. Now the reason that I did that is because I'm going to crop this image for each day of the week. So I'm going to edit, crop, 
And there's a lot of tutorials out there, guys, that will show you exactly how to do what I'm doing. So if I'm going a little fast, let me know. I can do a more in-depth tutorial um, if you guys would like. But for now, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I do. So I'm just going to speed this process up and be back in just a second. Okay, now that I have all of my boxes cropped, I'm going to move in and I'm just going to kind of highlight and I'm going to click resize and try and get this box as wide as the other box. See if that, see it doesn't cover. So I'm going to have to move it a little bigger move it over and I'm going to click crop again and this time I'm just going to move the edge in move this box down a little bit and see there we go and now I can make it a little bit bigger so that it covers actual Monday and I still have room for the um, actual number sticker. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Make sure it's as wide. It's going to need to be a little bit bigger. In fact, I can kind of use this other box over here to make sure I have the same height. Move it over. Click edit, click crop, take about that much off, and there we go. I'm going to finish doing the rest of this week, and you guys can just kind of watch me go by real fast. <laughs> that way you guys don't get bored. Okay, so that is what it looks like. I'm going to come back down. I'm going to copy and paste over here. Click edit to kind of resize and um, kind of move this back over here. And I'm going to Cut and paste the numbers that I need, which are, I look over here on my calendar, the 13th through the 19th. So I'm going to come in here to crop. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to switch to freehand. Freehand lets you basically freehand um, what you want. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to... Well, let's start with first, I'm just going to kind of do a circle around these numbers. Click done. Then come in and click crop again. And since I'm only doing the 14th through the 20th, this just helps me to get 
a closer up of all the numbers, okay? So then I'm going to click out and I'm going to copy. And if you want, you can go ahead and paste this as many times as you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go back into crop and just crop using freehand the numbers here that I need. So once I get all of these, I really like the size of them. So I am just going to move them into place. Now this one here is going to be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do is move this over a little bit so that I have some room for my 16. I don't really care how it looks in the end um, because, you know, I just don't need it to be perfect anymore. Now that I'm using digital, it's like, you know, if I don't like something, I can just move it over. But I think that that looks great. In fact, um, I really like it a lot. So, my next, let's come over here. Let's move these over and let's resize them. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip them. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and rotate them and leave them rotated just so it's easier to see what the each one is. I'm sorry if it's getting really loud, guys. It's starting to rain pretty good. So, um, there's not really any washi, but there are headers. So, I am going to I'm going to um now that I've seen what I'm going to be using, I'm just going to move these back over here. I'm going to circle this bottom one and click copy. Click paste over here and I'm going to resize it. I love these stickers. They're so cute. And this kit is so fitting for this week. Um, so out of here, now that I've, I'm just going to copy for size and I'm going to hit edit, crop, and I'm going to do rectangle and I'm going to come over here and use some of these boxes. I'm going to do this change is good. And since this is kind of like a teal um, kind of mood anyway, this kit, I'm going to leave it that size and just put change is good. I really like that sticker. I'm going to come back over here and paste and let's grab these headers. So I'm going to click off to unselect. I'm going to just hold my iPad pencil um, on top of it and hit edit. Click again for crop and I'm just going to do a fast crop of these and then uh, come over here, click edit again, rotate these so I can kind of see. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to copy so I can cut easily. And there are today and to do stickers. So I'm going to come in and click edit. Actually, I'm going to leave these down here. I'm going to click paste, I'm going to click off, 
I'm going to click edit, crop, and I'm going to go in and just for time's sake, so I don't have to keep cropping all of these, I'm going to crop one and I'm going to zoom in real good for you guys and I'm going to fit this header to this to this layout. You come in here and I'm going to kind of crop it a little inside the yellow. And I'm going to try and center it up and get it the best I can. How does that look? That looks pretty good. I'm going to lasso and I'm going to move it right in. I'm actually going to also click copy and paste. And I'm going to copy and paste this in each header box all across through Friday. Come on. All right. So then I'm going to come back down here and copy this again. Click. Oh. Click edit, click crop, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to crop this um, to do sticker down here. All right, so now we have those, and let's see. How do I want to work this? Let's come back up here to my, is it? No, actually, I think it's in Weekly Kits. Sticker Kits, let's see. I'm looking for those, um, yes, but I kind of want the colored ones. Yes, so let's see. We're using all shades of blues in here. So I'm actually going to going to copy and come in here and paste. I'm going to do a little bit of a resize. Do that one and then look and see if there's not yet a yellow one. Come back over here. Paste it. Do a little resize. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is use this, I'm going to move these up here, make sure I resize them so they're just there. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to crop just a dinner box. And I like to get mine, even though it's a PNG, it just helps to resize it. I like to get my rectangles with boxes pretty tight. Move this over here. And 
and let's see that's red up there so I'm going to do an edit bring this over here and crop since I am on keto I'm trying to uh, really meal plan lunches and dinners so that I don't have to think about it, to be honest. And I think that's not going to be enough room for my breakfast. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up here and copy and paste, do a little resize, and I'm going to pick um, one of these wood boxes down here just to cover up some of this. Um, some of this May box down here. I don't really need that calendar there. So I'm going to kind of use this to kind of just mm, block out some of that and then kind of move these down do a little resize so that it's a little bigger and we can I'm going to cut and paste these so that it'll lay on top of that sticker and then Resize this one to be a little bit smaller, kind of bring it up a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to edit this box over here and grab one of the breakfast stickers. really like this box. I'm going to just delete that and maybe use um, maybe use one of these little washi strips. at the bottom of my planner. Nope, that's not going to work. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to just move all of these down and then maybe use Maybe I'll use one of these boxes right here. as like a menu thing. Mm. 
and I'll just kind of space these out a little bit. All right, I'm loving it so far. All right, now I'm going to use I'm going to come down here and I'm going to crop out everything but the blue headers down here and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to crop out the different sections. I'm going to come in and resize them up oh, unless I hit another button first. I'm going to come in and resize these and put them in. And I'm actually going to move these up. I'm actually going to move these over some up and over. Put these up further in my day. And use the notes as headers for down here. So there we go. Let's zoom in here. Actually, I think I'm going to use one of these. Come in over here and make a banner for. I'm going to crop two of these little squiggly line things. There we go. Actually, just one because I can copy and paste. So I'm going to copy this over here because I want to put it as washi down at the bottom. But I want to edit and rotate and then make this as big as my two boxes actually. I want to rotate this this way. Make it a little smidgen bigger. And then I'm going to turn on my no pen tool up there at the top and come in here and find 
this weekend and come back over here, paste it, and then just circle that there. And then resize this a little bit and put there. And then come in over here and select this one, rotate it, and see. See how that is. Yep, so I'm going to take and move this down over here. And I'm just going to copy and paste it, putting it very close together over here. All right, I have my washi down. I have all my headers down. Now I am just going to um, do some boxes and I'm just gonna fast forward through this, not fast forward, but speed it up. That way you guys don't have to watch me do it for each and every box. Okay, just to make this a little easier so that I don't have to worry about deleting these, I'm going to actually cut them, turn off my no tool, my no touch tool, and I'm going to come in here and paste these and um, put them in back here so that I don't have to worry about deleting them or anything. So then I'm just going to turn on my new tool, come back here and paste it.
Alright guys, so this is what my finished week looks like. If you want to see the daily actual, you know, filling in everything plans, adding a few more deco stickers, check out my week 20 vlog that either already has gone up or is going up. Um, I will do kind of a fast forward um, plan through this exact plan in that vlog too, just for those who don't watch this video and want to see how everything gets put together. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of catching up in my vlog. Um, oh, I forgot to show you my other planners. Let's do that real quick. So I'm just going to hit this back button over here switch my category to planners and I use my master planner for my weekly layout and then I use this planner right here this is the boho berry planner let me put my no pen tool on um, this is the habit tracker that I'm using right now I've got morning routine afternoon routine evening routine I'm trying to start Fly Lady all over again. I kind of let it slack when I went on vacation. Hit my carb goal, ride my Peloton, and drink all of the water. I don't too much use this monthly spread. I might end up figuring out something else to do with it. But I have a gratitude log that I need to go in and fill in. This is my habit tracker for doing my Fly Lady routine. My morning routine is to make my bed, get dressed to shoes, swish and swipe, eat breakfast, empty the dishwasher, start load of laundry, and check my calendar. For the afternoon, what's for dinner, put away laundry, speed clean for 15 minutes, shine my sink, do my counters, uh, sweep my floors, then do my nighttime routine, which is my uh, supplements, skincare, um quiet time, stuff like that, and then uh, weekly power hour upstairs, downstairs. Um, I'm not going to be too hard about on myself about not filling in all these dots. Um, I need to catch up to today, but um, mostly I just want to get back in the habit of this. Um, and then this is, this was um, last week. I did do some stickers, but mainly I'm using this to track my time and to track my individual task list. I do not have enough room in my weekly spread to write down every single thing that I need to do during the day. So I like to have a separate kind of um, notes list to do. This was my cleaning list for last week, and then this is this week, and this is this week's cleaning list and to-do list. So I really like that. Um, let me show you. I'm going to show you an empty month, maybe. I bet. Oh, yeah. Let's go to June. So um, I decided to create my own finance planner. And in this, um, each one of these links work. So this will take me directly to the page that I set up for my sinking funds. If I go right back to June, um, each one of these will take me to business personal and my bills. But I'm just going to do a slide through. This is my main calendar. I will show you May's. I don't want to show you my individual breakdown because it's got some interesting information, but um, the teal is my husband's business. The purple is myself and my business. The red is personal bills and, you know, a lot of stuff like that. But empty blank layout. This is um, just a monthly calendar, and it's where I put all of my dots where all of my bills are due. This is going to be a general ledger where I keep up with my in my paycheck from our business, my husband's business, um, so that I can only spend that paycheck and kind of save my rollover. This is going to be for extra expenses above and beyond our bills uh, and our budget. This is going to be where I write down the due date, the amount due, the date paid, and the amount paid of all of our business bills. These are um, our personal bills, and then these are my bills, stuff that I pay. 
Um, and then our sinking funds, which I haven't started yet, but I really want to. So that is my um, budget planner. And then uh, my curriculum planner is just for my church, specifically the classroom that I run. Uh, we actually had a meeting. Um, so that's what this opens up to is my, uh, strictly my VBS life group, stuff like that type meetings. I'm going to turn this on to May. So this is where I keep up with my schedule, um, birthdays of everyone in my church, um, but mostly in blue are the people who have birthdays that are in um, children's ministry. And then I have um, any events that are going on at our church. So staff meetings, um, leadership meetings, I actually need to add on. I'm going to go ahead and do that. While I am looking at it, put this on here. Zoom in here and we have a leadership meeting. So I um, just wanted to go ahead and write that down before I forget um, that we have a leadership meeting or had one. Wow, that moved around. All right, so this is just um, lessons that I'm, what lesson we're on, who is supposed to be working, and then why does that keep moving? I am moving, my, I'm hitting my fingers on the wrong buttons over here. So um, just swiping will give me a dot grid page for notes. And then this is, I haven't quite figured out my layout of this yet, but I only have Wednesday and Sunday. That way I can do um, my schedule and all of that jazz. And then just a little notes page there at the end. And then we move right on into the next month. So I think that is all of my planners. Yep. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I'm glad that I moved back to this page because I need to actually cut and paste this little dinner box here. So that will go, it will go on top of that um, washi there at the bottom. Otherwise, it will drive me bonkers. Okay, now that I'm finally finished, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want more details on this specific layout, I'm going to be putting that in this week's vlog. I hope that you guys um, really got kind of an overview of how I've been using my iPad as my digital planner. I'm not planning on quitting this style at all. I just plan on adding in my paper planner. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it in June. But to be honest, I may take the summer off. I haven't quite decided yet. So um, stay tuned to the channel to see when and how I implement my um, paper planner. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Shoot.